This is an explainer video on feudalism brought out by Navodaya Foundation Mysore. The Middle Ages or the medieval period in Europe was a period from 680 to 1580. During this period, many social and economic changes took place, especially in Western Europe. A system of society that was very different from the rest of the world developed in Western Europe during the medieval period. It came to be known by the name of feudalism. The word feudal was derived from the Latin words feudum or fief meaning estate or land and fidelitas which means services connected with the fief both of which were used during the middle ages and later to refer to a form of property holding feudalism developed due to lack of single central political authority in western europe as it had disintegrated into many small and big kingdoms in such a system the local lords became more powerful than the king and controlled the affairs of the society now let us see features of feudalism the economy of feudal system was village based and villages were self sufficient there was a decline in towns as well as trade during this period land and not money was the main source of power now the question which arises is how could villages be self sufficient the peasants worked on land of the feudal lords which was organized into many estates or manors each manor also called estate had a castle that was home of the lord farms for peasants to work houses for peasants to stay workshops for peasants to produce non agricultural goods furthermore there was common goods for lumberjacks to cut and whatever was produced on the manor was consumed by the lord and the inhabitants while very little was traded thus villages could be self sufficient now let us understand why was central political authority absent in a feudal system the feudal hierarchy consisted of kings at the top noblemen below the kings were also arranged in a hierarchy of overlords and subordinate lords every nobleman had allegiance and loyalty of and on the office overlord furthermore this hierarchical system was unreachable that is a lower lord could only follow commands of his immediate overlord and not of lords further higher in the hierarchy for example the king could only order the dukes and the earls who would then order their subordinate lords and so on thus there was no effective central political authority in a feudal system now let us understand the most important aspect of feudal society that is its rigid social order medieval writers classified people in feudal society into three groups that is those who fought which included nobles and the knights and those who prayed that is men and women of the church and those who worked which included peasants social classes was usually inherited in feudal society in europe in middle ages the vast majority of people who constituted feudal society were the peasants now the question which arises is was feudalism restricted to europe we see that feudalism is seen in other societies and times including under the imperial governments of rome and japan and also in a informal way in contemporary india american founding father thomas jefferson was convinced that new united states was practicing a form of feudalism in 18th century he argued that indentured servants and enslavement were both forms of human farming that access to land was provided by the aristocracy which was equivalent 
to the feudal structure.